It's Yemi Alade. What's up, people? My name is Yemi Alade, a.k.a. Mama Africa, and you are watching all hip-hop. Don't change that frequency. Keep it going. What's going on, world? It's your man Chuck Creekmer, a.k.a. Jigsaw, here at allhiphop.com. We're here in One World Studios in Manhattan, New York, and we are here with none other than Nigeria's own Yemi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for joining us here at One World. Pleasure's all mine, man. Good, good. How, how's, you know, how's your time here? Now, wait, first, do you still live in Nigeria? I still live in Nigeria, okay. but I'm also in London sometimes. So okay. it's wherever the money goes, oh, I go. I hear that. I hear mm -hmm. that. Get to the bag. So how's your time been in uh, New York City? Well, I literally just landed in New York City today. And you came right to us? I'm telling you, right from the um, hotel, I came straight to you guys. Thank That's you. That's exactly what happened. Oh, we definitely appreciate mm -hmm. that. So you My haven't pleasure. taken it. Is this your first time here? No. no. I'm In New York? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean I, to No, think. it's all right. No, no, no. This, this is why we get to yeah, talk, yeah, right? Yeah. So I've toured um, America about four or five times. This is my fifth tour. Okay. Um, but it's my smallest tour because of, you know, COVID world. So right, I'm just course. doing about six cities. Been to D.C., North Adams, um, and in uh, New York. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Houston uh, coming soon, I think. Yeah. Houston's next? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Houston's, yeah. Houston's. I did Vegas first. Yes, yes, yes. Vegas first. Okay. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. So you're doing a real, that's a real tour. Yeah. Even if it's the smallest one. That's it's a system. small yeah. one. Well, let's, let me, well, first of all, I, I got to say this. I've only been to Africa once and where I went was Cape Town. Now, oh, we went to the bougie bougie, <laughs> the bougie Africa. <laughs> right. Nice. Now, no disrespect. Yeah. Some people said that didn't count. I said, oh. It still counts. You're it on the motherland, counts. you okay. know. Mm -hmm. okay. Still counts. But it's the bougie bougie. Right, right. You, you saw my reaction already. <laughs> it's the bougie bougie. It's still Africa. We're going back. We're going, we going back soon, very soon. Like, we have a, uh, I do some work in the community, and they work. We have a, 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 a partnership with Ghana, so we go Oh, there. dope. So there's a lot. Ooh, of nice, mm. nice, nice. Jim, um, Ghana is a beautiful place. Yeah. I love Ghana. Um, I think earlier this year, I was there to record my EP. Okay. I just took out time with my team. We were there for about a month, and we just recorded music back to back to back to back. Nice. Now, they call you Mama Africa. Yes. Now, that's an interesting name for an individual right. to have. That's a That's a... That's a huge honor, I would say. I agree. How did you earn that name? Um, so a few years back, um, when I just started my career, um, no, I hadn't just started. I was actually in the process of touring Africa. And every time my friends and my producer, my producer friends would hit me up and ask me, oh, Yemi, where are you? Where are you? I'd be like, I'm in Angola. I'm in South Africa. I'm in Ghana. And then he'd be like, Mama Africa, stay one place now. Mm. So he always, he, he turned into a nickname. Okay. And at that point in time, I needed an album title. And mm -hmm. I called my album Mama Africa because it just made sense because right. I am actually Mama Africa. Every woman on this earth is Mama Africa. And the day you realize that Africa is you and you are Africa, you become her. Yeah. Right. Yes. Now, your name Mama Africa is in it has some roots in the music though. Not just from being, you know, being all over the place, but musically, why 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 that name musically? Well, musically, I would say um, w when my first song, the song that actually took me global, Johnny, was released, mm -hmm. um, of course, the, the love started at home. And so I started to get bookings in other African countries, and I was going from east of Africa to the south of Africa to the north and to the west. And it just seemed like I was Mama Africa, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm everywhere and yeah. I'm African. Africa is me, so yes. why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that I've always been told is, and I know this as well, but told, you know, you can't, the music is different here, different here, you know, everywhere is a little different. How do you manage to connect with everyone like that? Or mo a lot of. You mean like in Africa or in the entire mm -hmm. world? I'm talking right now in the entire specifically. World. Well, I'm talking Africa. Africa. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, like for instance in Nigeria there are about 300 languages. Yeah. In Nigeria exactly. alone. Yeah. Ooh. And then East Africa speaks Swahili, South Africa they have different languages, etc. I think 
the one thing that unites us, which is something I discovered the more I traveled from one African country to the other, is that we have the same rhythm, okay. the same soul in our mm. music. Yeah. We want we want um, um, we want to listen to drum patterns that make our feet vibrate, mm. and once that is in check mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what language we're singing mm. we just vibe together on the same frequency got it mm -hmm. so let's talk a little bit about i don't want to say the name but the type of music you do what what's that called why don't you want to say the name i don't know i just don't want to classify you yet <laughs> <laughs> well classify me please because um i think that that genre needs to be heard over and over okay, again so it would be Af Afrobeat. Okay. Now, Afrobeat is the one sound that you could say majorly was, um, is the bedrock of Afrobeats. Right. Um, for me, Afrobeat, because everybody's allowed to define Afrobeat the way they feel, because music should be interpreted to you the way you feel, right? right. So there's um, the Pioneers, which is Fela, mm -hmm. um, Fela Kuti. Of uh -huh. course, there's still Juju music on that, that which is yeah. from um, um, King Sonny Adesh, you know, Peters, ETC. My genre of music in particular, I like to call it, um, how I put it now? That's the best way to put it. I like to call my genre Yemi Alade because once you just hear the sound, you just say, oh, that that is like Yemi Alade. Oh, that is Yemi Alade. So mm -hmm. I feel like my sound is a genre on its own, majorly because I grew up in a family where I heard all sorts of music. Right. My dad would listen to Juju music, which is a kind of like, a beating of a drum and a talking drum. My mom would listen to High Life, which has a lot of bass music in it. Okay. And then my elder brothers were all into Osha and um, Brandy and Maria Carey mm. and Boyz II Men. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I went to school to get all the lullabies and all that. Right, <laughs> so right. I had every genre nice. in my grasps and in my eardrums. And eventually all that summed up to become Yemi Alade. There's a bit of everything in my music. Nice. So you have your own genre. I like that. Exactly. And not too many people can say that, and and me not give them the funny eye. But you, I can. I you can, believe me? I believe it. Hey. I believe you. I hey. believe you. Now, let's talk about music here stateside. Now, I saw a song with you and Beyonce on there. Now, I, you know, I know, I'm <laughs> zooming in on that. I know I'm probably speeding a little bit, but um, did you work with her, or how, how did that come about? Cause I seen her dance, you know she's she's you know she's trying to get ahead of the curve. I, I get it, I get it. <laughs> she's always ahead ahead true, most true, times, true. you know. She she did try, she did try, meaning that she really really tries. Yeah. Um, she does the research. I can see that for mm -hmm. sure. Um, so there was this day I was at home in the studio trying to make my music, and my manager told me that he had gotten emails from Packwood, right? Yes, which is her company, okay. and that's where the conversation started. Um, thankfully, I had a booking in, was it Las Vegas? So all I had to do was fly to LA, okay. where her office is mm -hmm. and her studios. Uh, she had prepared about seven studios for different artists mm -hmm. to record, very beautiful interior. She had her team to cater to all our needs. Mm. I'm saying this because it was a very sweet experience. And as at that time, I still haven't, hadn't met her. And I was wondering when, Queen, when, right, Queen? Right. <laughs> but when, when you walk into the studio, you can see little beats and details of her, and it just makes you feel like you're in her home. Right. Because that was actually her office. Right. You know, it was hers. Yeah. Um, but then after the recording process and everything, I realized that I was on two songs, and then she invited me and four other individuals personally to London for the Lion King launch, and that's where I got to see her in person. Oh, nice. and, and that was that was a beautiful experience for me. Shooting the videos, we worked with her closest team, mm -hmm. her hairstylist, makeup, her manager was there. Mm -hmm. She wasn't there in, in person, but I know that she was on Skype watching all the time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I can mm -hmm. imagine. That's nice. Now, let me ask you this. We are here in America, and you guys are way over there, but we're both, we're all black. We're all from the same lineage in some form or fashion. How do you feel about the where, where we are now? Like, sometimes I hear, oh, they don't like us over there because you guys were enslaved or you know or you you know what i mean like i hear things i hear things i don't like what i'm hearing sometimes and then on the other side as you know we sometimes say things that are wrong too but i think we are all one and we need to unify even more than we may be now how do you feel we are as a as a diaspora now 
Um, I get you. I totally get what you're saying. It's a it's a good question. Um, I think there's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, mm-hmm. Some people do not know that there is so much to be proud of in their roots mm-hmm. because they've either been misinformed mm-hmm. or actually ignorant. Right. Um, but in all, I think that. But where, with what music has done from Africa to the mm-hmm. entire world, I hope that it gives a glimpse into um, what is really at home. Mm-hmm. I don't think we're defined by just how we look and what and how um, and 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 how we speak or our accents or mm-hmm. whatsoever. I think we need to. As a, I would say this, as a black woman to a black man, mm-hmm. I'd like to think that when we look at each other, we should be looking for, we should be, we should be looking to um, bring attention to our better qualities mm-hmm. rather than trying to judge and see, oh, this is beneath me or yeah. above me or I'm bigger than that. Right. A lot of us are kings and queens where we come from and I'm talking gold. Right. We're not talking just the crown right you know okay. so like w- we need to just be a little more informed yeah about each other okay mm-hmm. now uh f- quite a few years ago my company all hip-hop we we were about to start a thing a thing mm-hmm. called all hip-hop africa oh, okay. now at that time the hip-hop scene was different it was more skewed to us at least that's how we saw it so we were working on an exchange but it didn't happen because in the in the states we had a huge recession, mm-hmm. and the and the the economy tanked, mm-hmm. so it didn't happen. So a few years ag- later, we're like, man, let's do this, mm-hmm. let's start this again. Mm-hmm. But everything changed. So it seemed like now artists in Africa, they had it seen at least maybe it's the internet. I don't know what it was, but it, you know everyone had different sound or they had stars yeah. and and uh he, and people like you know Rick Ross were going there and back and forth and they were you know it seemed like it, everything had changed what's what's it like now for hip hop yeah yeah in 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 Nigeria in Africa mm-hmm. yo you I, i'd like to believe yeah um that that as much as there is a lot of r&b influence in Nigeria mm-hmm. there is a huge influence of hip hop okay in Nigeria I personally used to think I'll end up being a rapper. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, Look, shoot. in those days when the radio is playing um, Ja Rule or um, Buster Rhymes, I would record on cassettes. Mm-hmm. I would tape record them. And then what I'll do is I'll play it back sentence by sentence. I'll write everything that he's saying stop. So that the next time I play it, okay. I'll be rapping with him. Oh. And a lot of people in Nigeria are still hip hop heads. Yeah. It's somehow a bit of a difficult genre, mm-hmm. but once you get it, mm-hmm. it's beautiful. A lot of big um, hip hop stars are in Nigeria. I think it's a good initiative to actually do the all um, hip hop Africa, you said, yeah. thing. It would be amazing. There's so many talented male and female rappers, and they'll be excited to you know be on your platform okay mm-hmm. I, I, th- I think we're gonna do it yes yeah. please by all means yes all right. i just got I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you i just got some fresh gear from africa Ay. not n- like custom made I got, I got my Ooh, measurements and everything on. okay uh-huh. okay uh-huh. okay yeah yeah okay i can't wait to see that one do you have the cap as well or is just the top not on this outfit but i do have a cap mm. a friend of mine he's um He's here now, but mm-hmm. he's from there. He gave me, sweet. A, gave me a crown. I was That's like, sweet. That's sweet. Like, that right. is sweet. I felt proud. You should. Yeah. Now, um, you have sold out shows everywhere. What's the appeal? What like what would you attribute the appeal of Yemi to? I I personally think that um, the appeal would probably be that, apart from the fact that. I think a lot of people tell me that my music makes them happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and that is one ingredient that I'm happy actually gets to the listener. Because that's right. something I always try to put in my music. Happiness, good thoughts, joy. Mm-hmm. You know, because there's so much happening in this world yeah, already. Right. So in terms of the music, I think it's the happiness, the dosage, the overdose yeah, yeah. of happiness that I pour into the music. But... Also, on the overlook and in general, I think it's 
the originality and the unapologetically African side of me. Mm. Um, and sometimes, I guess, when when a lady out there or a young boy out there or a man out there, when they see me, they see their heritage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think it's something beautiful to behold, won't you say? Right, right, right. Okay, <laughs> okay. You, 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 um, you know, mentioned a lot of names and I didn't re- recognize all those names mm-hmm. but what about people stateside here who did any of those people influence you did anyone from the United States influence you my music yeah 100% oh. Brandy ah. Monica ah. Boys to Men right um oh wow what Whitney Houston right of course I don't get it I said Jaru yeah uh, okay. Of course. Um Buster Rhymes. Yeah. Um Twister. Twister. Oh, snap. Uh, oh, miggity miggity big. Oh, oh, yeah. Who can, I think ooh. I think you should rap and you should try to rap like Twister. That's what you should do. I don't think I have the my my tongue is not that flexible. <laughs> I'm going to end up biting off my tongue. <laughs> that was his old so, name, Tongue Twister. Look at that. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's so many so many no Music from the States has a very huge influence on the founding years of, uh, of, of Nigerian music. Mm. I think for a long time, the, the, the American scene has inspired um, um, Nigerians within to also realize that they could make their own music right. and start to compete yeah. with, you know, yeah. and fuse and blend with, you know, their idols mm. in terms of music. And that is exactly what is happening now. Nice. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think, say, for example, when Drake does Afrobeat? Mm. How do you feel about that? I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Wow. Yeah. He said, oh, ha, it's okay. <laughs> I'm right. Okay, brother. You're right, right, right. Yeah, that's, that's, I, it, it's, it's exciting. Okay. Um, It just goes to, to show how big a deal representation is. Yeah. Being able to be um, um, yourself unapologetically makes you stand out, and that is yeah. why you know people like Drake, like Beyonce, yeah. would 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 spot you, would would uh, make you out even in the crowd. Yeah. You know, so I think um, it's the culture speaking for itself, and it's it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you talk about this tour that you're on right now? Oh yes. Um, at the moment, I am on my American tour, even though it's a smaller unit. Uh-huh. It's my fifth tour of America, and um so far I've been to Vegas, been to North Adams. North Adams is What's they that? like to I, exactly. It's not in Massachusetts. Oh wow, nobody goes there. Right? I'm <laughs> just saying, no disrespect. No th- maybe th- Boston. No, no, maybe no. Boston. Hold up. That's what they actually said. Mm, they okay. actually said no in the middle of nowhere. Right. Yemi Alade came here. And and it was beautiful. I think that was one of my most turned up audiences. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They North appreciate Adams, you. Ooh, yeah. it was, and there was only like four or five Africans there. Right. Every other person was just from another race, just mm-hmm. having. We were just brother and sister mm-hmm. in the music world. Right. Um, and from North Adams, I've been to DC, okay. and then there's now New York and Houston, and that'll be a wrap for for my American tour. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, what What's your favorite place in the world now? Africa aside. Or Nigeria side, I should say. What What's your other favorite place? Do you have? Mm-hmm. At the moment, my favorite place is still Seashells. Um, Seashells is not far from America. What um, is I think it's about. It's an island. Oh. Yeah, Seashells. Um, it's about maybe five hours or so from here. Cause last time I was to see, I went to Seashells. I went through, um, New York. Oh, okay. Um what what's it about that? It's just the island life. Okay. The blue waters, right. the, the 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 wind in your hair, the fresh food from the sea. So every time we had dinner, they would ask they would they, the, the the caption was the catch of the day. Right, right. So every night a different kind of fish. Right, right. Beautiful. Nice. Expensive but beautiful. <laughs> Got you. And then there is um but the one place I long to to go to is in Greece, Mykonos. I've been there. You've been there. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 
Oh my God! Did Greece, you enjoy that? I loved it. The blue waters, everything. It was amazing. I, I, I actually got in the water, which mm. I never do. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's dope. I I've saved so many videos. So you've been? No, I just oh. online. I saved them in in, in so an you, archive on, on, on no social time. media. I can't wait. I did it. Yes, you did, you did it. <laughs> 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 I'll catch up. I'll catch up. I'm good at catching All up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you, you should actually go. There's like several places in Greece that you would love. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. I can't Santorini wait. was kind of my favorite. Yeah. Santorini. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Greece is beautiful. That's good. That's good. Mm. Um. So what are you musically working on now? Do you have any projects coming soon? Well, New projects. at the moment, I released an EP about a month or two ago. Okay and um a new video so musically i'm just getting geared to release more music okay yes okay how's the pandemic affected you Oof. the pandemic was epic yeah <laughs> and it's epic the, the, the new covid world is not um it's not very conducive it's not comfortable right. it's, it's full of a lot of restrictions mm -hmm. it's really tiring kind of unsafe and sad yeah but i would say early 2020 i finally got the opportunity to literally actually live in my house yeah. because my house is like a store i just come back change my box change whatever is in my mm -hmm. box and and fly out but i eventually turned my house into a home right. i lived in my okay. house i woke up in the morning to experience a beautiful sun to go back to bed right. it was refreshing rejuvenating for me a whole new experience I enjoyed it, but then I started to get tired of it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> because, you know, we all need one another. Human interaction is important. Yeah. Um, but yes, the pandemic did that and also affected the way music is being released, how we mm -hmm. do promotion. Everybody's on TikTok now. Yeah, yeah. That happened. <laughs> Are you on there? Of course. Is that your favorite platform? I, at the moment, yes. That really? was th I was a TikTok baby all 2020. I would make all the kinds of... I had very funny videos on there. I looked for the the most silliest, if I can say that, mm -hmm. and I would do it. And like people thought I was leaving music for <laughs> comedy. <laughs> they thought I was leaving music for comedy. Trust me. I'm gonna have to look up. You I should. I don't, I don't. I don't have a presence on TikTok, but I, I, I gotta look into Just it. Just go there and have fun. Just yeah. watch so many silly things. I am official Yemi Alade on TikTok, by the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm right there. Making so a fool do of you myself. have any other career aspirations? You see, you know, you're like a part time, you're not a full time singer, but like a part time rapper, part time comedian. What about acting? What, what's what's next? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm on to you. You are. <laughs> There's no way to run now. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm a full time musician. Okay. And um. I have my my fingers in fashion. Okay. Still working on how I can get um, that kind of um, my fashion pieces around the world. Okay. Still working on how I can get makeup, especially skincare, because people say, "Oh, you have lovely skin. You have lovely skin." I'm thinking of how I can, you know, help my ladies and my guys get more moisturized, because right. moisture is the key in ingredient. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm thinking of how to going to more business related aspects of music nice i mm -hmm. think you can do it fenty has made rihanna like a million a billionaire so i mean oh yeah you oh get yeah you a couple b's too i like that put yeah. the b in the y a we're gonna get the b pop yeah we're not even saying m we're just going straight to the b straight to the b straight to the amen b. hallelujah definitely so what's next for you well, what's next for me? Um, once the tour is over, I will be um, working on more collaborations, mm -hmm. both in America and Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be shooting more videos. I have an ama I can't even say. I wish I could say, but like there, like there, there are some exclusive. collaborations. I'm, I just remember that I just said smiling. Come on, some collaborate oh. exclusives. Okay, I just promise that I'll come back to say. That's what I'll do. Mm, that's that's better. what they all say. But all right, I believe you. I, I don't. You don't impress me as a liar. So I'll. I think you're telling the truth. So we'll have to have you back. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. And then when you come back, we'll have all hip hop Africa start. Hey, yeah. no, I, I will be a fan of that. No, I love hip hop, especially when people really know what they're saying. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 
definitely. Mm-hmm. So it's th- okay. So this is something we usually ask rappers, but I'm gonna ask you too. But I'm gonna ask you twofold. Who are your top f- five dead or alive rappers? But the second part is who are your top five dead or alive African artists generally? I am answering two questions. Two questions. Okay. Um, favorite rappers, dead or alive? Two back in the building. Okay. Yeah. Um, ja Rule, man. Ja Rule, okay, Ooh. salute. Ooh, yes. All right. And so you must be a real fan because his names I come up like. Yeah, two yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think, I, I feel sometimes like he taught me how to rap. Right. In my own little bathroom space okay. where I rap, yes, yeah. I feel like he taught me, especially his songs with Ashanti. Mm-hmm. Yo, I'm always busting on those verses. Aight. Oh, and then um, so that's two, mm-hmm. and there's definitely Busta Rhymes because I'm like, yeah. how does he come up with these flows? How yeah. is it? And then there's Ludacris. I'm like, what? Yeah, what? Definitely. Always Ludacris, you right. know. And then ah, oh, there's um. Eminem. Eminem, okay. Eminem. Wordplay. You like Eminem. wordplay. Yes, I yeah, do. Okay. I actually do like wordplay. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I have many more, but like I'll just stick to the five. And okay. then Dead or Alive, top five African artists that I love. I know that's a that's a tall order, but <sighs> if, if you can. If you can or to or how about this? The the five that influenced you the most. How's that? Can hmm. can that work? Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. Well, Anjali Kijo. Okay. Anjali Kijo is definitely top on that list. Um, there is also Onyeka Owenu mm-hmm. from Nigeria. Um, oof, why do I forget her name? She's passed away now, but I, I'd have loved to mention her name. I, f- I can't remember. But Brenda Farsi, definitely. Okay. Yvonne Shaka Shaka, that's four. And then number five will be... Nobody knows her because she only sings in the house. My mother. <laughs> that's that's good. Yes, she's definitely singing. Even when she's sad, <laughs> she sings. So yeah, she really inspired me to sing a lot. Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. I just want to say thank you for joining us here at One World Studios, AllHipHop.com. And um, again, if you want to record in the states or in New York. Here is good. Hallelujah. There's so much history here, so you yes. you definitely belong here in yeah, this I building. I checked up on yeah. all of that, and there's, wow, many years of um, intellectual property being created here. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. This was a good chat. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely.